Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my cozy evening routine for 2022. Though my job is mainly home based, I did get out of the house today and just go and work from a local coffee shop just because you just need that escape sometimes. So I didn't get in until around 5.30. Mitchell was waiting because he was actually going out this evening. So we wanted to get dinner on nice and early. We always greet each other and give each other a hug and kiss and we are just always silly. For dinner that this evening we wanted to make something to like warm and wholesome. So we decided to do lamb shanks with mint gravy, roasted vegetables and mashed potato. And also we wanted to try try out our new air fryer. So this part of the video has been kindly sponsored by Wayfair. Now, if you don't know who Wayfair are, they are the destination for all things home and they honestly sell everything from furniture to electronics to home goods. They honestly just have the biggest selection, which is one reason why I love Wayfair so much. There's always so much choice and everything is always good quality and there's just so many different price ranges too, which is why I also really like them because you can find something that always meets your budget. So we ended up opting for this air fryer mainly just because it went so nicely with our aesthetic all of our appliances are black but like i say they have so much choice so definitely have a little look and we've been using this air fryer for a couple of weeks now and let me tell you why have i not invested in one sooner they are amazing they cook things so quickly i feel like they crisp things up just like the oven doesn't and yeah i just seriously can't recommend investing in an air fryer enough so we popped the lamb in for 35 minutes at 200 degrees but honestly it didn't need that amount of time we took it out at 20 minutes we're still kind of like learning our way with the air fryer and how long things takes because we have noticed that it just cooks things so so much quicker than what the oven does. Whilst the lamb's cooking in the air fryer, we just cut up some carrots, parsnips, and potatoes. We pop the carrots and parsnips on a baking tray with a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and honey, and just part bake these in the oven for around 20 minutes. I then checked on the meat, which as you can see, was done and all cooked. It cooked far quicker than what we thought. And then we just thought we'd pop in the parsnips and carrots into the air fryer just to give them that crisp that the oven does not get. Honestly, look how unreal these look. We then served up dinner. As you can probably see, me and Mitchell love to work as a team when it comes to cooking and also doing the tidying up after, which I absolutely love. Dinner was ready and we sat down at the breakfast bar. We always try and make an effort to sit at the breakfast bar and eat our dinner rather than sit in front of the telly just so we get a bit of us time and can have a nice chat. After dinner, Mitchell went out of his friends, so it meant an evening of pampering to myself. So it was time to go upstairs and do the thing that I love the most after a day of wearing makeup take it off so I went into my little beauty cupboard and grabbed my favorite cleanser and skincare. <laughs> First things first is getting this hair out of my face. Honestly, as soon as my makeup comes off and my comfies go on, this headband does as well. You'll see that I live in this in the evenings. I just like having my hair just away from me and yeah, I just feel super chill and comfortable with this on. So I'm taking my Elemis cleanser. I absolutely love this and have been using it for years. I have a new pot. I like the rose one especially because it smells so fresh. I always use my 4A Luna Free as well. You'd have seen me speak and share this device so much over the years, but it honestly just gives me such a deep cleanse. I then just take a little flannel and just wipe off any of the excess makeup on the skin. Do this a couple of times just to ensure there is no makeup left. And then I'm just taking a scrunchie and tying my hair back ready and in prep for a nice bath. <laughs> Before I run my bath, I thought I'd put on a face mask. This is a Yves Lomme Rescue Mask, and it's around 25 to 30 minutes that you need to leave it on for, so it's perfect when you want that long, relaxing bath. Next, it's time to run my bath, and I'm going to take one of these Way Chill Pill bath bombs. Thank you. 
for that spa aroma, I then got out my Mayfair number no. 9 by Elemis Candle. I then grabbed my book, which I'm reading currently, which is Colleen Hoover, Ugly Love. I'm still reading this. I've had it for the longest time and still not finished it. I'm really enjoying it, but I just find I don't often pick up books. I always pick up my phone. So I'm really trying to make an effort at the moment that when I do have a bath or get in bed early, I read. Once I'm out of the bath, I always like to rehydrate my skin and pop on a moisturiser. It's then time to put on our festive PJs. These ones that I'm wearing tonight are actually from Primark and they are just beautiful. I then went in and did some skincare. I'm using products from Elemis and Skin and Me. Once my skincare is done, I then come downstairs and sort out the cats. There's always one cat at the bowl, never two. They always take it in turns, as you will see. I think Boo is normally the one queuing, and then Buddy likes to wait in the background and come in when Boo has at her food. We do have a few cuddles and kisses because I just love her so much. Then time for a bit of me time and I really want to get into the Christmas spirit so I wanted to put on a Christmas film no better than Home Alone number two Lost in New York this is my absolute favorite and then it's time to do some baking so tonight we're actually going to bake some chocolate orange brownies but first I wanted to share with you my new stand mixer from Wayfair when I say Wayfair do everything they truly do everything and again they had so much choice when it came to picking out a new stand mixer I did decide to go for one that was slightly bigger than my old one just that I found that when I was baking cakes I needed a bigger um, bowl so yeah this one's slightly bigger it comes with a ton of different attachments and it also comes with the cutest red spatula which I just love and is so Christmassy and festive but yeah can't recommend these stand mixers enough guys and um, so definitely check out Wayfair I will leave the link for this one in the description box right getting on to the baking so we're going to use a Jane's patisserie recipe today I will leave it linked below again and the first thing we're going to do is melt the butter and the dark chocolate and Terry's chocolate orange Once the chocolate and butter is melted, you then want to let it cool down and pop in your eggs and sugar into your stand mixer bowl in the meantime. We're going to whisk these together for two minutes and they basically need to double in size and lighten in colour. This step is so important so please ensure you do this because it does really help create that perfect brownie like chewy gooey texture. Once it looks like this, which you'll probably notice it looks a little bit foamy, that is exactly what we want. You then wanna take your cooled down melted butter and chocolate mixture and pop this into the bowl. Now again, on this step, you wanna be really careful and patient and just take your time because you wanna fold this in really slowly and carefully so you're not knocking any of the air out from what you've just whisked. Once that's all incorporated, you're then going to take a sieve and pop your flour and cocoa into this. You then just want to sieve it into the mixture and again be super gentle by folding this in. And then finally, all you have left to do is add in your orange rind and also your chocolate orange chunks. Then take your pre-lined baking tin and pop your brownie mixture in. Now, for baking times, this honestly varies, and I think this is the hardest thing to know about doing brownies, and this is what I've struggled with for so long. But yeah, I've popped them in the oven at 160 degrees. It says 30 to 45 minutes on the recipe, but I definitely ended up doing them for around 45. So it's just a case of checking in on it and putting your knife in and it being mainly clean and not like jiggling in the tin. I then cut them up into little triangles to kind of resemble Christmas trees, melted some Terry's white chocolate orange and drizzled this on top. I then also added some sprinkles on and let me tell you now, these are the best brownies I have ever baked and I tried a lot of brownie recipes guys, they had the perfect chewy, fudgy, gooey, oh my goodness, they were just unreal. 
they're not a cakey brownie they're like in between which I love that is the perfect brownie for me after I did the brownies I thought I'd like lay them out on my coffee table because they just looked so cute And of course, I had to indulge in one. At this point, I normally would make a hot chocolate, but after baking and dipping my hands in the afters and all of that, you know what it's like baking, I was just chocolate overloaded. So I just wanted to sit down and start watching this series, which I feel like you probably have all seen advertised. I was so intrigued to sit and watch this. At around nine-ish, I then decided to head upstairs um, and just have a little bit of me time whilst Mitchell is out. I don't often get times like this where I can just sit in bed with the cats and chill because, as you guys know, Mitchell is not the fondest of the cats. You know, he, he's alright with them, but yeah, he likes them out of the room by a certain time in the evenings. So me and the cats truly did take advantage of this time together. I played with them, I gave them their favourite treat sticks, I had loads of cuddles and kisses. Can we also just take a moment to appreciate how cute, adorable and clever my cat is? Buddy is the only one that knows Paul. Boo doesn't, unfortunately, but yeah, I'm so proud of him, how cute. I then thought I would do a little bit of editing and just catching up on a few emails on my laptop. I feel like I can never stay away. The job never stops. And then after, I thought I would read a couple more pages of my book before going to bed. And that brings us to the end of my holiday evening routine with me. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Wayfair and all of the amazing home goods they sell. And yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. See